Technology is changing the way we connect with innovations and the Internet of Things, cloud and 5G technologies, transforming businesses, public services and people's lives. With me now is Phil Twist from Nokia to discuss. Phil, where's the next big thing for mobile? Probably 50% of the world population has some type of mobile device and regularly uses it. What we haven't yet seen is the potential of connecting things so that you can have smart healthcare, you can have autonomous driving, you can have smart farming, you can have industrial automation on a completely different scale. And we're kind of predicting that in the next few years we're going to move from a world where people dominate to one where there are 10 to 100 times as many connected things as there are people. How is Nokia responding? What game-changing innovation is being launched or in the works? If we refer back to the Internet of Things, we've launched the package that enables all of these to come together. So it's the combination of the connectivity, so there's some special versions of either 2G or 4G specifically for connectivity of devices. What's special is it makes the requirements of the chipset that goes into the sensor so much lighter that they can be cost effective and most importantly can be powered by a battery where the battery lasts 10 to 15 years. How do you see unlicensed spectrum evolving? What do people need to know? Unlicensed spectrum is going to be an integral part of everything that actually happens in the mobile networks as they move forwards. If you look at the specifications for LTE A Pro, as it's being called, or Release 13, that includes bundling unlicensed with licensed spectrum in order to open up the bandwidth. And you can do that as either licensed assisted access or something called LWA, where you can combine LTE with wireless. And there's some new initiatives like Multifire that we're one of the founders of that opens up some of those technologies. So it's not going to be an either or. They will complement each other and they will be part of the overall ecosystem together. And 5G? 5G is the evolution of networks beyond where they are now. And it's aimed at bringing three things. The first thing is the ability to handle not just thousands of devices per cell, but potentially millions of devices per cell. So it increases the opportunity for the Internet of Things. The second thing is the one that gets the headlines, perhaps, which is the speeds that it opens up. And then the last part is the latency, the response time. How do you see a mobile transforming industry in the future? You can use it for uh, all sorts of new applications that simply haven't been considered. You can use it for inventory tracking. You can use it for smart farming. You know, you can have a sensor connected to a grape which tells you precisely when it's ready to pick. And you can have enough of these sensors around that you know to pick that half of the field but not this one. You can use it for industrial automation where you can have robots working together across a mobile communications network. There is a whole stack of different opportunities based on the speed, uh, the location and the additional capabilities that it's going to bring. And what's the important trends to watch? That's a very good question because I think the things that are grabbing headlines are probably the things that won't appear in networks anytime soon. There's a lot of uh, things here about augmented reality and virtual reality which is just a little bit away from being commercial. The real driver behind all of this is probably the transformation of networks into the cloud. And that means fundamentally re-architecting the way that networks are built. And that's actually one of the fundamentals before you head to 5G. 5G is not radio, 5G is the whole network infrastructure. And the transformation to networks in the cloud, centralized distributed architecture is one of the prerequisites. That's what is actually going to be sold behind all of the things that appeal to people's minds of virtual reality and augmented reality things, which look and feel nice, but don't necessarily have a commercial solution yet. Thanks for watching. For more videos from our new economy, please subscribe.